Hey guys and gals, got a really special unboxing today. As you can see here, it's the Batmobile edition. And yes, it's the Arkham Knight Batmobile edition, the one that was canceled on us. Uh, but it, quoting uh, Warner Brothers, they said it was unforeseen quality issues. Uh, and Triforce was the one who made it and they went out of business just recently, which some people lost their pre-orders on some like uh, on some of their stuff that they haven't come out with yet. So I'm, I'm really sorry for those people. I'm really sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Uh, so that's why like the, uh, Darksiders 2 Triforce, um, death and dust statue has been on eBay recently for a really low price. And they had over a hundred of them because they just didn't sell. And I'm guessing when Tri Triforce went out of business, they sold off assets. And that's probably where this came from because I imagine Warner brothers ordered these destroyed. So there can't be a ton of these left unless they were ordered destroyed and it just never got, never got done on all of them. But I, I highly doubt that. I imagine there's only so many left, but we'll we'll find out uh, in the coming days. Um, there are more on eBay if anyone wants to go look and try to find one. I paid 190 shipped to the U.S., um, but I bought mine in the U.K. and had a friend forward it for me. So yeah, so let's uh, let's get into this and see if we think it looks uh, good enough or bad enough to have canceled it. All right, let's get going. And here we go. Got it out of the box. You can see here it's kind of in a Wayne Tech. Uh, box almost like it's a it's a delivery box so it, Wayne Industries priority delivery like a tech delivery box pretty cool you can see here it got like fingerprint ID required to open it this way up so that's kind of a neat touch obviously Batman would need to put his fingerprint on there to get this out luckily for us we have a key okay so you open it up and it's just like uh the other collector's edition where it's got it's got that art book and that comic on the top you guys have seen all this before in the uh the other arkham knight videos so i'm not even going to bother showing those they're just meh seen that done that we want the we want the main deal we want the batmobile get the little parts these um this is the vulcan cannon and these are little plugs for the top missile things when you're not in tank mode Although I'd probably just leave them out all the time. I don't know what the point of even having them on would be. All right, we got it out of the box. You can see here it's uh, just kind of it's kind of uh, raised up off the base on these little little spots there. I actually think I think there's a way to take it off the base, but I'm not even going to bother trying. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true though. It might be. It might actually be screwed down. I'm not. 100% on that, but I remember it said make sure it's it's on the base raised on the base before you Before you mess with it. So I think you can take it off, but again, I'm just not gonna bother with it uh, So let's quickly oh those Those things those plastic pieces if I turn it over they're gonna probably gonna fall off again. Yeah, they just kind of sit on there I think that's just where the I'm not really sure why those pop off to be 100% honest with you anyways, so we'll look at the bottom what else fell? Oh, one of the rear ones fell off. That's all right. So you have Arkham Knight, uh, Rocksteady, Triforce, yada yada. On the bottom. All right. Oh, all right. So look, you can see this one is one of the rear ones. It just popped off. That's where one of, one of the screw holes are down there too. See, I think they're supposed to kind of snap in, but these ones didn't. So that may that might be another thing of quality control that they kind of weighed. The, the thing I wonder is what caused more backlash the bat because this actually looks decent I mean, I don't think people would have overly complained about this people complain about everything don't get me wrong, but uh, Yeah, I'm not sure this would have been as bad as they were thinking unless I got a pretty decent version Maybe there are some really bad ones out there uh, Okay, so the first thing I want to let you know is I already put the batteries in uh, This is a battery cover here. It shows you on the box back there the screw hole is up here uh, and just be careful uh, when you when you put the batteries back in just be careful this the threads in there aren't super strong So you're just gonna barely want to snug it to be to be on the safe side so you don't strip those threads out And the on off switch is up under here. It's kind of hard to find And then that turns her on it Tries to snap itself into place They don't really stay very well as you can see but that's not a big deal. It's it's made to sit anyway, so you see here you got the regular headlights in, in uh, regular drive mode. It's even got a green, I don't know if you can even see that. There you go. It's got like a green light in there. It could be like Batman's consoles at him, kind of. Although you can you can see a wire in there, that sucks. I might see if I can try to 
to hide that somehow. Anyways, not that big of a deal really. Um, on the back you have the tail lights and the uh, fire light, turbine light. All right, so let's, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna do this a few times, uh, drive mode to battle mode, just to give you guys an idea of, of how the feature works and how it looks. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some walk arounds in both drive mode and battle mode. All right, so first, you got your little remote. And I found if you aim it near the top, near the turret, it works better. I don't know why. Maybe that's where the sensor is. That is so cool. So obviously what happens is the wheels pop out just like in the game. Uh, then obviously the turret pops up. The the turret comes out and the side turrets, well, the barrage or the... This thing I think is non-lethal thing. And then this one is the uh, minigun, which has a magnetic end piece on it. You see that little magnet that kind of just slides into there, which also has a little magnet and just kind of sits there in place, which is cool. Obviously, you don't want to close it while it's on there because it wouldn't fit, which is why they made it a separate piece. It kind of sucks. kind of sucks to have to do that each time, but whatever. Uh, and then these caps I mentioned earlier go on the missile barrage part up here. But it's made so when you're not in this mode, just to kind of cover those up, I probably would never even use them anyway. Uh, so let's do it a few more, a couple more times, and then we'll we'll do a walk around. And you can see here, there's a red. It turns the light inside the Batmobile red too, instead of green. You got the red headlights, and the wheels can you can, you know, uh, have them go whichever way you want in the front. I think the rear ones are stationary though. You can't adjust those sadly. So you can see it here. And then here's the lights in the back. Same thing, actually, really. So let's, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. It's a pretty neat little toy, really. Uh, I can see the detail is kind of lacking, but I, I still think it would have been, it probably would have been in their best interest to release this. I don't think it was a big deal. I don't think it was that big of a deal, to be honest. The base is plain, yeah, it showed some nice detail on the base. It's got none. Uh, it showed pretty good detail on the car. It's got some, it's got a little bit, but it's not, you know, really great. But still, it's a pretty neat little thing. I don't think many people would have been disappointed. Okay, I've decided just to do some, some real close-up detail in the tank mode. It'll kind of get the idea of cross of all the details. And you've already seen how it transforms and all that good stuff. Uh, one thing real quick I just remembered. Uh, this, while it is a magnet, also there's a little keyhole. I don't know if you can see that in the bottom there. So it kind of defines which way it's supposed to go and fit in there. I think it goes towards the bottom. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. So you can see here, here's the tank, uh, the tank gun detail. Uh, it's pretty, pretty loose. I didn't really notice that, but I guess it's kind of got to be to to make sure it shoots out real fast. That's uh, not terrible, just to look at, really. Um, here are those things that you put on when you're in regular mode. Uh, because, you know, when you're non-tank mode, you don't have the missile barrages open. I'll probably just leave those off all the time. You can see it, obviously the red light in the center cab when it goes in the tank mode. You see on the paint, they try to do like a scratched look, a worn look, kind of like it is in the images, but it's a real cheap way of doing it, I would say. I mean, it's very plasticky. I still don't think this is to the point to where they should have canceled it. I actually think it's pretty, I actually think it's pretty good overall, especially for what you get. I mean, it's a transforming, you know, Batmobile. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty neat. So yeah, that is it. That was the Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile Edition. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing, and as always, thanks for watching.